Hi, Caleb and Steve with Brown Nose here. Today we're back with another Smith Buster. Now, today we're going to be taking a look at the myth of cleaning your 22 long rifle barrel. Um, Steve? Yes, I've heard of it being done. So, one side to this myth that I've heard is cleaning your 22 barrel will actually ruin it and it will never shoot the same again. Um, big time myth. I think that comes from people cleaning it from the muzzle wound and messing up the crown. Um, but the, it's not going to hurt the rifling at all to clean your 22. Sure. On the other extreme, some people think you have to clean it every time you go to the range. And that was true in the black powder days when it would corrode your bore, but not so much anymore. Yeah, and with the modern 22 cartridges, you have really clean burning powder. Um, in, I, in some of them. And Yeah, in, oh, okay, yeah, good point, in some of them. And um, another thing I've also heard is that, so the primers have a um, abrasive in them, and that if you shoot a lot of 22s and then clean your rifle, you'll erode the rifling. Um, it's not nearly abrasive enough to do that. That's that's a, that's a myth there. If it were, you'd be fire lapping with each subsequent shot. Right, so. and you would just be shooting your rifling out um, quickly, and that's it's just not true. Um, yeah. like for example, some of these older Marlin Model 60s, um, they've had a lot of rounds through them, and you know, my gunsmithing experience, I've seen a lot of them come through the shop, um, and they've never been cleaned, not once, and they still group and shoot great. Um, I've heard people say if you shoot a lot of lead ammo that's not plated, you'll lead up the bore. Um, haven't really seen much of that either. And some, usually at those velocities, it's not a problem. Yeah, exactly. They're, they're not moving nearly fast enough. And um, I will say this, though. I've seen some with some pitted bores that have just been neglected, left out in the barn. Um, those will lead up because you, once you're shooting it, the pits are just ripping the lead off the bullet and it's leading up the barrel. But, right. But then you're stuck with cleaning it. Then you're stuck quite with quite often. It. Oh yeah. But this this part here is where you need to clean every time. That's yep. that's where the gunk accumulates. If you especially if you got a semi-auto, it's going to stop operating after all that lubricant and powder residue builds up. But the barrel the barrel's going to be fine. It's uh, as long as your bullets are lubricated and they all are. They've either got wax or graphite or plating on them or something. You don't have to clean your barrel all that often. Just when your groups open up. So if you notice the thing isn't shooting and grouping as well as it used to, then it's time to look at cleaning the barrel. Yeah, so the point of this, um, ignore the, the crazy myth talks on the forums and internet, um, clean the action, clean the barrel, but you don't have to clean the barrel every time you go to the range. It's, for the most part, pretty, almost, almost self-cleaning. Exactly. So. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, let us know. We'll be glad to help you out. We'll see you next time when we bring you another episode.